This week is Mental Health Awareness Week, as you may know. Central to it this year are issues for new mums and pregnant women. The NHS says that one in five women will experience difficulties like low mood, anxiety and isolation, either before or after giving birth. And that's what happened to Jenny Molyneux from Great Harwood in Lancashire. Her daughter, Theodora, was born a year ago, but Jenny struggled at one stage even thinking of taking her own life. But happily, she reached out for help and, after I think three months in hospital, I'm pleased to say that Jenny is here and nodding. Um, Hi Jenny. Hi. And thank you Hi, for coming Roger. in. Um, just explain what, what, how, how it affected you. Um, so I developed anxiety, um, obsessive compulsive disorder. So I was having um, intrusive thoughts. They mainly evolved around Theodora, keeping Theodora safe. Um, and throughout a number of months, my symptoms progressively got worse and worse. I became agoraphobic, didn't want to leave the house by myself. Mm. Um, and yeah, it got to the point where I just didn't think I was good enough to be Theodora's mum and she needed a different mummy. Um, and I, you know, like, like we discussed, mm. thought that I'd be better not being here. Um, so I reached out to my health visitor mm. who referred me to the perinatal mental health team who were absolutely amazing at trying to support me at home with psychology um, appointments and occupational therapy and one thing that sorry to interrupt sorry? you one thing that people won't know sitting at home watching because it's it's not apparent is that you're visually impaired i am yes i'm registered um severely sight impaired okay. so that added another layer of uh, anxiety if you will to um my experience and how, um, much of a, how much help did you get? Because it's wonderful to hear stories where it, it all works and everything comes together and it did for you and, it, and that's your message for other people, absolutely, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. I reached out for help. Um, I was mit admitted onto Ribblemere Mother and Baby Unit in Chorley mm. um, where I got all the support I needed. It's nothing like uh, an acute mental um, ward per se that people might have perceptions of it is lovely it's so welcoming it's supportive it's encouraging it's nurturing um, I was able to stay there with Theodora mm. so we weren't separated which is a massive fear for a lot of new mums who are experiencing um, mental health difficulties they think that somebody's going to come and take their baby off them mm. and that's so far from the truth everybody wants to keep mum and baby together um, and on the unit, that's, that's what we did. And mm. I had support from nursery nurses, occupational therapy, um, and psychology sessions where I worked really hard with my therapist to look at how I can manage my anxiety and manage my OCD. Um, and fortunately, after three months on the unit, I was discharged Brilliant. back into the perinatal community team where I am still undergoing treatment. So the, so the care is, is all encompassing, yes. both when in, ho in hospital and, and yes. now you're, you're back at home. Yeah. And I, I suppose the key point, briefly, is you want people to understand, reach out. If you're struggling yeah. with your mental health, yeah. pregnant or otherwise, yeah. reach out. If I can help one mum today reach out for support and help, then all the difficulties that I've been through over the last 18 months have been worth it. And that's the overriding message that I'd really like to get across is please ask for help because it's there and it's it's brilliant. <laughs> and listen, here's, here the, proof, she comes. here's the proof of the pudding. Hi. Uh, Theodora, who's one tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes, she is. Oh, oh hiya. Bless her. I think she's all a bit I think she's a bit overwhelmed by it all. She's, she's it's her first right. television appearance. It is, it is. Oh. Say hello. Oh, Say Emily, hi, thank you for bringing her in. Um, Jenny, thank you so much. It's lovely to hear that all's well. Yes. And, and a really important message for other mums who are struggling as well. Absolutely. And happy birthday to Theodora for tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>